we're scared of filming in public because there's strangers around us. We don't want to annoy them. Uh, maybe you're scared. The only recommendation I have to you is just start slowly but surely. Film yourself here and there. At the end of the day, man, you got to focus on yourself and stop fucking focusing on the strangers and people around you, man. If you stop yourself all the time filming and analyzing your technique because of others around you it's you're never going to improve it's super important to improve technique to get better at lifting to improve your fitness so it's important to film basically grow some balls what's going on everyone i hope you're doing good having a good day um this was a similar leg day session that from my last video because i do believe that these compound lifts are extremely important to be done um so i i do them a lot i practice a lot my the main compound lifts like squats deadlifts because they're extremely beneficial to your posterior chain you know your glutes your hamstrings it'll make your lower back and spine extremely strong and that can translate to anything you do in life any sport any activity you do um, that's why I always recommend people learn how to do it and then slowly build up from there and now right there right there I had to let go for the second rep because my form was not tight enough my lower, uh, my upper back was rounding too much and I don't like too much back rounding when doing deadlift so I could have grinded th through it but I, I decided to just keep that for another day keep my energy as well because uh, after that I was doing some back squats and another thing that I, I did incorrectly the past few days is skip too many days of deadlifting. The last day of deadlifts was 11 days ago from this workout. So 11 days in between deadlift session is just too long. The, there, there needs to be high frequency if you want to get better at anything in life, especially exercises. So imagine this. Imagine the guy or the girl who deadlifts once a year versus the guy or girl who deadlifts twice a week every single week who do you think is going to be the strongest athlete who do you think is going to have the best technique for deadlifts well it's probably going to be the the guy or gal deadlifting twice a week you know that's what i mean that's my point is high frequency is extremely important in anything you want to get better at in life so very important have that frequency high that's what i'll, I'll start doing again is uh, deadlifting at least twice a week. I'm gonna have one light day, which is gonna be higher reps and focus on the technique a lot. And the other day is gonna be sometimes medium intensity. The other time, the other week is gonna be high intensity, like how heavy I go basically. I'm gonna alternate that to uh, to make sure I recover good as well. But lately I, I was focusing more on a little bit of squatting and uh, maxing out on the squats you'll see at the end of the, the video but yeah I, I did the three sets of eight to ten i believe here back squats focusing on technique always having good depth always having good breathing and bracing and that's why i film myself and analyze it because it's important i don't know how it looks i know how it feels but how it feels is not always like how it looks so it's very important to film and analyze your technique, like I said at the beginning of the video. And now some hack squats. Another good example here is look at my depth. My depth could have been better here. So then again, that's why I film and analyze technique because that's how you get better. There's no fucking way you're going to get better by going by feeling and asking somebody around you. You know, it, it doesn't really work out because like... What does that person know? Do they have years and years of experience? What do? How does their form look? Is it good? Do they have, do they have good results? Like, it's it's super important to to film and analyze yourself, and then maybe ask uh, a, a personal trainer or a coach. Is it good? What could be better? You know, like things like that is super important to to ask yourself, and that's how you improve as a, an athlete in whatever sports you do and you know bodybuilding is not well i guess it is a sport 50 50 i guess but you know it's just important to analyze and film your technique man do it don't do it i don't give a shit
what I recommend you do. So I got two pork chops right here uh, with some basmati rice. I put some all seasoning on the pork chops and then a little bit of uh, sea salt on the rice. Got some water, uh, a little bit of orange juice. I'm gonna sip on this. But man, this meat right here is gonna be so fucking good. Look at this shit. Look at this. Damn. Now that's some greasy ass protein that I love. I love pork chops. I know they're the greasiest protein out there probably. One of the top greasiest. But man, that hits the spot. <laughs> Thank you.